It's Fashion Week here in New York City, and tonight you're going to meet one of the hottest models in the world right now, the model all the designers want in their dresses. But there's a catch. He's a man. Here's ABC's Juju Chang looking in on a model life. What is it? The porcelain skin? The luscious pout? The delicate bone structure? But look carefully. The hottest model in women's wear these days is also a hot model for men's wear. Perhaps Aerosmith was just ahead of their time with the classic song. I'm a fan of feminine things. Andre Pajik is a dude who definitely looks like a lady. Perhaps the prettiest lady you've ever laid eyes on. We went backstage with him this week at New York's Fashion Week. The 19-year-old newcomer is swarmed by the international press. His future is bright. Offers are pouring in. I'm working on a t-shirt line. I'm working on um, a nail polish line. Modeling is one of the few industries where women make three times more than men. Andre now commands women's fees. And he's already graced more covers than any other male model. What makes him so, such a hot commodity? No one looks like him. None of the boys look like him, none of the girls look like him. He wears a women's size two or four with no alterations. The toughest part, he says, are the high-heeled shoes. He squeezes into a size 11, which can add four inches to his six foot two inch frame. You have sort of a waist. Yeah, it's a waist. Yeah. It helps. But his beauty is genderless, a lot like Andy Warhol's transsexual muse, Candy Darling. Andre is taking androgyny mainstream. A lot of the Warhol superstars were, you know, men dressed as women, and Andre for us sort of connects a lot of the dots of that theme. But Andre is still a man. And what about um, Five O'Clock Shadow? Do you have trouble with that? No, I, I don't say. You don't shave? No. What explains that? <laughs> well, I was really young. I, um, I prayed to, to God not to get um, facial hair, and, you know, he... Apparently you were. Me. Apparently your prayers were answered. You don't take hormones or anything? No. Do you want to be a woman? I think the term transgender, which is an umbrella term... You consider yourself transgender? I, yes, but I feel comfortable with, that, with the way I am now, I don't feel the need to alter my body significantly. His look doesn't just blur, it seems to erase the line between male and female. But the runway is already dominated by flat-chested, rail-thin giants who look a lot like Andre. When you see yourself in the mirror, do you think of yourself more as a man or as a woman? I, you know, I like to keep my options open. What does that mean? <laughs> I see myself. So you don't see a gender? It's not that important. Andre and his family moved to Australia when he was eight years old after his parents divorced, escaping the ethnic war in Yugoslavia. Uh, I grew up, you know, in a refugee camp in Serbia. He says he was three or four when he first put on girls' clothes. So you played dress up? Yeah, you know, like any other kid. <laughs> Except you were putting on... Instead of cowboy outfits, um something else but and when you're looking in the mirror as a child did you see a boy or a girl well I saw a child <laughs> he was working at McDonald's when he was discovered by a modeling agency they knew he wasn't your classic alpha male he soon crossed over to women's wear you know famous photographers and stylists they would just sort of look at me and then be like you know put him in a dress <laughs> Jean-Paul Gaultier put him in a wedding gown and it was a showstopper. And away from the catwalk, he says he's more comfortable in feminine clothes. Do you use the men's room or the women's room? Now I tend to use more <laughs> the women's room just because it's, it's a lot less complicated. <laughs> Gender confusion is precisely what Andre's it girl status depends on, which may be why he's so coy about his sexual preferences. For me, love has no boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a woman? Um, I don't think I've ever had sex. <laughs> so you're telling me you're a virgin? Possibly. Remember, he's still a teenager. His whole life is just beginning to unfold. Do you want to get married? <laughs> Definitely. Someday? I just, I want a big wedding with, you know, Big, beautiful white wedding dress and flowers. So you're definitely wearing a dress. Are you going to marry a man or a woman? Well, you know, I, how can you plan that? Most of us have a general <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you know, if, if for me... You don't know when, who you're going to fall in love with. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.